Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Don't shoot a man on the sticks. I have the stick. Playing Madden 20s, the greased up pappies. <laughs> the Oilers from Houston. <laughs> Yeah, they're from there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as always, playing events only, simming that D, using that balanced playbook, and uh, making the world turn by playing on all Madden arcade mode. Oh, Jonas, we're making the world turn. I am. I'm like that soap opera that nobody watches. <laughs> Your world is just like a doorknob. Everybody gets a turn. Ooh, is it? Yeah, Does Jonas. Does that mean I'm wide? <laughs> I said your world was like that. I mean, you're, you can be wide if you'd like. <laughs> Like a hot dog down a hallway? Uh, I don't know what kind of, what, what your orifices are dealing with over there, fam. <laughs> That's some of you. <laughs> Fair. You can keep that information to yourself, too. You can share that with your journal. <laughs> Dear journal. You ever, you ever have a diary? I was just about to ask you that. Uh, I absolutely have not, no. No, but it's fun. Like, I never had a formal journal. Or, or anything or a diary or a diary but it was weird because i found a when i was going through all my stuff when my grandma like was getting rid of her house uh, after my grandfather died i had a bunch of stuff there some of it was like way back from like high school i found this like hard bound book mm -hmm. and it, it was lined mm -hmm. and i had like maybe like six or eight pages worth of like a, like a diary, I guess it would be, or a journal. Sure. Like it was just like, but it was like kind of depressing. Like I took it out and I threw it away, and I was like, I don't want to read that again. It Why was, kinda, was it depressing? It was just like, was it, was it a like bunch of like angst filled, like about like being a teenager, man? Really? Yeah, dude. I was all just like, I hate everything and blah 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 blah, and talking about like, it was just, <laughs> yeah, dude. It was, I was like. Who is this man? <laughs> like, because I'm not like that it's, now. That's because when you're a teenager, man, you gotta get those emotions out, man. Yeah, you, dude, and I was all like talking new. about girls I had crushes on, and like just it was just weird. <laughs> emotions are new, man, and we you don't know how to deal with them yet. Yeah, dude, it's just like this is stupid. Everything's dumb. Oh man, this, yeah, I was like, I was like, this is really like depressing. To <laughs> Gonna get rid of this. I don't know. It's not too much different from how you are. Oh, whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you out here playing video games, man. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's, that's Everything's stupid, and I hate everybody. It is stupid, dude. This game is trash. <laughs> this game is such garbage, man. So I don't. I never kept a diary, but I will admit, Jonas, that I have a shoebox with love letters that I got from a girl in high school, and uh, even a couple from girls I've gotten since then. Yeah, I have a. I, actually, in the same trunk that I found that thing in, I found a bag that had probably I don't know this girl I dated when I was like 17 and she was 15. Um, Whoa, Jonas, kind of cutting it close there, ain't you? We were, like, both in high school, bro. I'm saying, like, one year, and it's weird, so, man. Well, right. But, uh, <laughs> right, I feel like, right. what the hell is going on in this game? Look. I don't what know, man. I? You bought it. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to not. What the frick is he Yeah, look, that was a great punt, right? Mad maddening me. Whoa, um, man, that punt wasn't good at like all. A, like a plastic bag with like probably 30, 30 or so love letters that we would wrote back and forth. Did you keep them? Or yeah, they're, them in a, they're in a box somewhere. Oh, so you got I some I think I have too. some stuff for, like that, some, but not like a ton. Yo, it's so funny because I like go back and I read like those love letters and they, this girl wasn't talking about Jack-ish. Just about... Just school that day. Exactly. Not waiting to be able to see you later. I can't wait to see you. I'm really glad you're in my life. I'm like, all right, that's cool. But like, I wasn't ish at that age. I wasn't doing no, nothing. Yeah, nobody's doing anything. We're all trash back around that <laughs> like, you know? What do you want to see me for? <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't get I, yeah. She learned her lesson. Dude, I don't want, like, I think I'm trash now. <laughs> and I have a lot going for me. <laughs> do you? I mean, like, I have a job, I have a car. Oh, man. I, I mean, like, get I have, this man a medal. I have my life together. There's so many people that don't have that. 
Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel like we're on the bell curve, which is, like, more along the lines of average. Yeah, it's, well, dude, but, like, I honestly on the think upswing. there's less people that have their life together. Like, like granted, or, uh, by what I mean by like, you and I having our life together, it's like, we have a job, well, you're in, you're transitioning jobs, but you you have employment most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I have a job. Thanks for throwing that in my face. I have face. a car. You have a car. We have a place to live. Our bills are paid. You know what I mean? We don't have like it's just like we do what we need to do. Jones, but I feel like there's a lot of people that don't do that. I don't know how you expect us to get our Patreon jumping if you keep telling people that we're we're we're, we're good monetarily. <laughs> We have to make them feel sorry for us. Oh. But past that, Like you were yes. out there like ZJing it up but, for rent? <laughs> exactly. But past that, I do feel like we are still in that bell curve, maybe on like the upward tilt, but I don't feel like we... Like in the two-thirds area? Like 66 yeah. percentile? Woo. Yeah. I'd yeah. say that's probably what... Because like... Yeah, yeah. Cause like we're we, but we're also far enough in our life where we have like a job and we in like it's not like we're millionaires, but we're not like I can't go. It's not like I can't go buy a shirt if I need a new shirt. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like we aren't, we don't have tons of money, but it's not like we can't yeah. afford to get anything extra. The thing is, is that I, I never want to compare myself to those who are doing worse than me. I want to compare myself to everybody. Right, right. So yeah, I may be doing better than some people who decide to have children at seventeen. Right. But I'm not doing Brad Pitt numbers yet. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Like yeah, exactly. So. Like yeah, like if I need a new pair of shoes, I can go buy it, but I can't go buy a new pair of shoes every week. Yeah, the way I like to gauge it is uh <laughs> do I have to look in my bank account before I go get groceries? That's a good sign for me. Five star boys lit up at the same time and came at me. They got a flag though, Jonas. No, no, we got a safety. Oh. Do I have to look at my bank account to go buy girls? That's that's a pretty good uh cuz I've yeah, I've been there. Yeah, or like, <laughs> been or, or been like, I have to go get groceries. I only got thirty bucks for the whole like, for two weeks worth of groceries. Oh what am I getting? God. <laughs> Three pounds of turkey, some bread, some ramen noodles, some Ooh, pot pies. I remember the days of I got twenty dollars and I got two weeks till I get paid. That's that's five. I can eat at work, so that's ten days that I can live, and I that's. What is that? Two dollars a day? Yeah. Yep. Two double cheeseburgers. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, dude. In I, Cleveland, yeah. there's no tax on food, so I knew two dollars for double cheeseburgers is gonna cut the mustard. No pun intended. That's great. The second game in a row, I called the timeout as, as the clock expired to halftime. <laughs> Trash. Um. Yeah, dude. I I feel you. It's like, but yeah, I remember being like, oh, why? Well, if I pay like eighty percent of the electric bill, they won't get it shut off. So I can still, like, go buy groceries this week. <laughs> like, those kind of days. See, now, I've never done that. Like, I've always been the one who's, like, I'm going to pay my rent on time. I'm going to pay my bills on time and everything. And then, like, everything else will just fall into place. Oh, I, I definitely paid it on time. It just was, like, if I pay this whole bill, I'm going to eat, like, literally ramen noodles all week. So if I yeah. don't pay, like, $20, I can at least get, like, some ham. Uh. Oh, and, okay. and, you know what I mean? I, I could still, see that. Actually, yeah. actually that's, right. a, that's a life hack right there. Yeah, it's like, it's like smart logic. <laughs> You're like, if I pay hack. 80% of the bill, how likely are they to shut it off? It's a life hack. I never thought about yeah. that. I was always just like, principal is like, I got to pay this. Yeah, and it, was, it worked. It, it never, well, I think only one time, I used to get with like my phone bill and like my electric sometimes and pay like, all, like 20 bucks or something just to get it. And only one time my phone gets shut off. And I called them and like, I was like, I literally have a $20 past due balance. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, we'll turn it back on. Just pay the bill. Like, you know, it was like just one of those oh, things. Like, see, walk in the line when you use that life hack, though. Kind oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can roll in the die. Shut off. You can get your phone shut off. Absolutely. You can get your, I won't get my phone shut off, no. But that was uh, like the only time I think I've ever had my phone shut off, too. Yeah, I've never had anything shut off due to non-payment. Um, always pretty good about paying paying the bills. Yeah, me too. I think one time I'll take that hit to my my money for. Food. Yeah, I think one time when I had a place that had the electric shut off, 
and it was like a mis like I just thought I had more time, but I was behind on the bill. And then one time my phone got turned off, but that was it. That's for like twice in all the years I've been alive. Yeah, that's not bad. No, uh, I remember I lived in a place for in Cleveland. I lived there for like six years, man. And I remember there was one time where I just lost my job and I was just getting a new one. And I walked into the rental office and I was like, hey, um, I'm going to be late with the rent. And they were like, oh, really? Well, let me just pull up your account here. And they're like, wait, you've been living here for six years? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, and this is your first time being late with the rent? I was like, yeah, I know. They're like, I'm sorry. And they're like, they're like, no, actually, that's great. That's fine. <laughs> it's like, whatever, dude. <laughs> Yeah. It's like you've been good for it all this time. We're not too concerned about it. Right, yeah. That's kind of how I feel about the place that, like, you're at now because I've lived here for a long time. Like, I feel like I, like, I feel like they are, like, I think you'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like if we were to approach them and be like, hey, yo, we're going to be late with the rent, they'd be like, not a problem. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Like, you guys. They probably would even waive the fee. Yeah, I've had that done, too. Cause, yeah, because if you don't pay, if you're never late, they don't have a problem. Yeah, like, when I uh, when I was living alone and I worked nights and uh, in Florida, I was late Uh-oh. on my rent only because, like, I would go to sleep during the day and I would wake up at night and I would just, like, days and nights kind of just, like, they run together. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, when you, run, when you work night shift, you're running a different schedule. You know? Yeah, it's like you you go to work on the 29th, but you come home on, or you go to work on the 30th, you come home on the 1st, and then you sleep. And then you go to work on the first, and then you come home on the second, and you, you just don't even realize that the days are passing in the manner that they are. But uh, they've, a million sacks this they've always been super cool about it. Yeah, I've actually called a credit card before that I was never laid on, and, and they've waived the, the late fee. Yeah. Before. As long as you're not, like, habitual, you're good. If you're not a habitual late payer, they will absolutely. Dude, they literally pulled him away. That's great. <laughs> We're going to lose the game. Thanks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We're still going to the Super Bowl, Johnny. But we're undefeated, bro. It's the last game of the season. We're yeah. screwing the pooch. Eh, you got, it's better to get that loss out now than later. <laughs> this dude is juke jamming all over the place. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> juke jamming. What a jerk. We're going to lose. I hate losing. Uh, when I was a kid, we used to talk about juking dudes in the booty. Juking the dudes in the booty. That sounds like homosexual sex. <laughs> That's exactly what we were. You know, like, you probably you guys are juke dudes. And, oh my god! And we're on our way. You're like, man, what are you over there doing, juking in the booty or something? Juking dudes in the booty. <laughs> you booting, juking, juke, boot scooting, boogie. <laughs> juke jam jockey. Juke jam jockey, huh? Yeah, you can't talk about juking in the booty anymore. <laughs> you can't, dude. You can't. Why not? <laughs> not no one knows what you're talking about. It's a, it's a different world, man. What do you mean they all know what I'm talking about? They absolutely know what I'm mm, talking about. It's juke jam. Juking dudes in the boot, dude. Yeah. Bootin' doot doot, bootin' doot, doot scoot buggies. Now you're just making words. Dude, I make up words all the time. <laughs> just saying, just saying random so word vomit. Come together. It's fine. It's fine. You, you do you, fam. I will do me, fam. Yeah. So, uh, I guess <laughs> the moral is pay your bills on time. And then if you happen to not pay it on time, sometimes you get a little bit of a leeway. There's so many Star Boys. Why? Yeah, man. Just just be broke if that's what it takes. But uh, pay them bills, man. Yeah, man. They're ramen great. noodles. Ramen noodles are cheap. And you can you can spice them up. They're so good, too. Put some, put some onions in those ramen noodles. You got a whole other dish. Dude, ramen noodles are good. Cut up a hot dog. Put it in that oh, ramen noodle. I've done that a million <laughs> times, dude. Right. Super hack, take a chicken pot pie, yep. put it in the ramen noodles and stir it up. Yep. You got yourself a casserole what? with chicken, bread, and veggies, and cream Yo, sauce. Take a Kraft single, break it into bits, put it in the ramen noodles. Cheesy, Cheesy ramen bread. noodles. Oh, <laughs> sounds good. I kind of want to do that. It's actually really good. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, dude. Like the liquid. Oh, Some be- shredded cheese and ramen noodles is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. About to do that. Anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If already done that, send a friend our way or tell your grandma. But for Jonas, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are